Hey, what's up guys? I'm Frank Torn and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 and the Royal Court expansion. So we're just going to jump on into today's episode because it's going to be a shorter one. Unfortunately, I do not have very much time to record. I'm really just squeezing this into a very tight schedule right now. Uh, just trying to squeeze in a video and get something recorded because remember we will not have a Monday episode as usual. I uh, don't typically have Monday videos on this channel. Uh, that's like the one day we don't uh, put out any videos and therefore I didn't want to have two days with no videos And so that's the reason why we're, we're even gonna have a video is just so we have something and uh, it's gonna be a very very short one uh, But I did want to show you guys the the world situation uh, quickly uh, Because people have been asking me to do so for several videos and I, I keep forgetting uh, So first of all England here is under the control of an Anglo-Saxon king uh, the Normans did not win that war here that did not uh, take it over. Uh, so Robert here, he is uh, just the Duke of Normandy. And I'm wondering, well, he died of natural causes. Yeah, William the Bastard. So he'll never be known as William the Conqueror. He stayed home and, and died of natural causes and it's just known as William the Bastard. Uh, but yeah, the Anglo-Saxons are in power over here. Denmark's looking pretty powerful over here as well with control of all Norway. Taking over parts of Sweden over here as well. And then uh, France, well, they've lost territory. Uh, they're kind of making moves up in here and gone into to northern Italy now. Uh, so that's interesting. You know, Lombardy, you got Lombardy here, Tuscany. Uh, all those are independent from the emperor. So that's kind of the situation. Just kind of scroll through here. There's a few people have asked me to, to do so. Since we haven't really paid attention to the, the world situation much. And so that's the way it looks. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and continue with this conflict here, uh, which is going to be a, a rough one because we don't have any money and we're outnumbered. Well, we're not outnumbered unless the Hungarians come in it. Now, he has another ally. I don't remember who it is, though. Hmm. I think it's that guy right there. Uh, so he's coming down. Uh, so that's another... 2400 troops we need to battle this guy before they get here uh, but we're also waiting for our own 4000 so that'll kind of make up for it uh, but overall yeah this is this is a rough situation here guys I can't get them to, to engage me in a favorable uh, condition so what we might want to do is is bait them into attacking us uh, that can be somewhat difficult to do sometimes. Not to debate them, it's really easy. Debate them, they'll attack you if you, you put somebody out there. Uh, but the thing is, is what you have to do is you have to have like an army that's small enough where they want to attack in unfavorable terrain. And then you need to have your army close enough that they get there in time. Uh, the one problem with that, of course, though, is that you have to put your, your good commander in charge of the bait army. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to do it that way, actually, since we have allies. Uh, it, you know, it, it can work out brilliantly for you. But there's no real mountains over here, uh, particularly mountains. Well, there's one, uh, but what we really want is like a mountain province that's across a river. And they might not even come after us because they're going that way. Uh, they want this territory here, uh, which is why they're bouncing all over it. Yeah, we're going to have to split these guys eventually. See if we can't get them to fight us maybe over here in the hills or cross the river and attack us. Uh, we can ask our head of pay for gold. All right, this is awesome. This is just what we need. Yeah, that's huge for us. Uh, so now we have a much better chance of uh, defeating him. Since we're not in debt, so we're not getting that penalty. Uh, but we still do, do need a favorable terrain here or something. We need something. Uh, so that's going to be incredibly helpful. All right, now he's taken off back into his own territory. Uh, we don't want to attack him there. Maybe we can get him to attack us. Uh, they are laying, laying siege to us here. Uh, seven months for us to get over there and get him defeated. I'd really like to fight him first. Alright, so we need him to leave. Right, he doesn't really have to leave. We can just move here. Now he's going this way. Uh, we had a counselor die. Oh, the big man died. Yeah, the duke. He got injured, or he probably injured himself, actually. Yeah, looks like he did. All right, so that opens up a position on the council, the stewardship. He was a really good steward. That's unfortunate because we needed this money. Uh, do we have any other really good stewards? There's 13, so he'd probably make the best one. Yeah, he'd probably just put him there because he's not a great chancellor. So, yeah, we'd just move him. 
And we'd want to reassign. And then we have a good Chancellor here, a fantastic Chancellor and a powerful Noble, so he's great for this position. So we'll put him there. Uh, and then who's the other guy? Uh, the new guy here? Oh, oh, this guy. That's right. Uh, so we could piss him off and replace him, but again, we have him here because he loves us so much. All right, so I guess we'll leave it as is. And we don't really have anybody who'd make a good spy master, do we? Yeah, well, and we want to leave her there anyway. We're trying to do some assassinations. Uh, is he not sticking around there? Nope, he's already on the move. So yeah, you can attack him there <laughs> in the mountains. <laughs> That'd be brilliant. Yeah, he's just just bouncing around. We can't get him to gauge us. Again, it was a big part of the war uh, conflict uh, throughout history. Uh, maneuvering. Uh, armies would maneuver for weeks, if not months. Where's that allied army? Here it is. I went right past it. Uh, but they'd maneuver, maneuver for weeks, if not months, before they'd actually engage in battle. Uh, we're going to go ahead and split off. Well, first let's split those guys off. And just throw in... I don't know. We, we need this small enough where we can fit in most of the provinces. Maybe like, well, that was a bit much. Yeah, I think that was a little too much. Maybe like so, a couple other dudes here. Maybe like 56 dudes. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, so let's go and get somebody appointed over here. Uh, we have some decent uh, commanders. He's a reaver and he's reckless. He's a holy warrior, uh, which doesn't help us in this particular conflict. So we'll put him in charge. And let's go and get these split up. So I want to fight him separately. I don't, I don't want them all combining. And your vassal was taken prisoner. Well, looks like we might have some conflicts going on over here between vassals. Yeah, something's going on over there. We won't look because I don't really care. I guess we could, you know, force them to end the conflict, but uh, I don't care what they're doing, honestly. They can do what they want. Uh, we actually are still uh, too many people here, just barely. I should have kept this one here. I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just go over here and uh, start fleeing. We're not fleeing, but trying to find a way to fight this guy. If we can get one big battle, then that works too. I'll be absolutely fine with that. Just one big battle where, you know, they bring all their troops, we bring all our troops. Seems uh, favorable to me. Even if we don't get terrain bonuses, that's fine as well. So we'll see what happens over here. I'm hoping we can get them attack us. Can we get here first? Yes, we would get here first. Uh, but I don't know if they would get here in time and would our allies come and help us yes they will all right so we'll be fighting alone for a time no, but we do get there first we get the uh, uh, the defensive bonuses now you also got their army low on supply but they have the higher quality uh, we just haven't been building men in arms we haven't had any money for like most of this game all right so with the allies that's gonna help but yeah we do have to fight for a time alone although it looks like they don't have all their army over here either all right, excellent. Here we go. Yeah, this is going to work out nicely. Yeah, so this should be a, a nice victory for us. And uh, hopefully kill a lot of them. All right, so let's see how we've done in the battle. Uh, also, it looks like we're being raided. All right, well, that's unfortunate. This is a horrible time <laughs> to be getting raided. Uh, we just can't deal with it. They're opportunists. Uh, so we killed 23, almost 2,400. Well, only, only losing... 311 of our own. Absolutely fantastic. Only got 10% on the war score. Uh, yeah, that's that's really good. Now let's take a look at our knights, see how they did. Uh, again, he's performing fantastically for us. Okay, good job, guys. Let's take a look at the battles here. Uh, he was able to kill him while he was retreating. This is Duke Oda the Handsome. Not so handsome anymore. And uh, this mare was killed as well. And our knight was wounded. Okay, so that worked very well for us. Got a nice victory here. Got a little bit of war score. Killed a lot of their dudes. Uh, but chasing them down is impossible. Uh, it's just too far away. And there's really no way to get war score 
uh, from taking you know the, the particular territory. Now we could take a county, but uh, you're not going to really get much much points because it's not like part of the the war goal because we don't have a war goal. It's a defense war. We could, we could go after the capital, but then you got to take all this stuff first. Uh, the quickest way to do that would take this one, and then you're into the uh, you're into the capital. Uh, so you do have to take at least one location, uh, and it's not too bad of a fort. Uh, so yeah, we could go after that. I suppose that's what we'll do. We'll just go after a county because there's really not anything else to do. I'm not going after those guys. It's just too far away, so I'm not going to deal with that. Hey, maybe our vassals will deal with it. And if they don't, then, uh, you know, <laughs> that's their fault. Alright, so let's go ahead and take this guy. Uh, we'll have him go first. So if we can, uh, collect some supplies as we go. And, uh, we are trying to sway this guy. So, yeah, we'll go with this one. We'll be assertive. Assertive presence. We'll try that out. See if it works out for us. All right, so once this guy moves here, right, it worked. Increase the opinion a bit. Increase the uh, sway progress. I think we'll be able to get over there in time, but yeah, probably not. Uh, let's go ahead and have this guy follow behind him now. And uh, let me see if I can't get over here without uh, having to attack him, because we don't want to attack him there. Uh, we are not... Yeah, we're not collecting our supplies here because he's here. <laughs> That's great. Because, uh, yeah, we need to collect supplies here. Let's just sit here for a second and collect supplies. We'll let him move. Because, uh, yeah, these areas here have lower supply. I suppose if you went here, he's good. This guy needs to take a, a little bit of time to collect some supplies here. Because, yeah, we don't want to get any penalties. Uh, so we just got 83 there, so got another month. And uh, Mieszko got the diplomatic uh, courtier uh, for being at our court. And uh, that's going to give him an extra diplomacy point. Now remember, we're still attempting to assassinate her. I haven't looked at that in some time. Ten months here. Uh, when's the secret going to be done? Almost. Okay. Because uh, we need to switch the spymaster over. Anything here we need to be aware of? Uh, we can negotiate alliances. Okay, you can negotiate alliances here in Bohemia. Uh, that won't help us in this war, of course, but... But yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. It's just a bummer that this war happened. This I never liked the defensive wars, obviously. Because, uh, yeah, it's it's um, <laughs> it's never in your favor. And never, you're just fighting to uh, not gain anything. And we can't call them into the conflict, because that's their... Uh, vassal. Or excuse me, they're a vassal. Alright, so do we have the supplies here? Just about. Give it a little bit of time here. And then we'll tack into there. And uh, they could end up attacking us this way. Uh, which would be negative. Yeah, they're just raiding all of our stuff. It's a lot more troops now. Uh, 2,000 troops up there. Uh, and then 2,000 over here as well. Yeah, we're just being raided everywhere. Damn them. Can't deal with that though. We got a we got a war here to deal, uh, to fight. All right, so here they are. Uh, they have much less men at this point. I don't really want to chase them. Keep continue to chase them here. Uh, and plus, our allies should be able to take care of such a small force there. Uh, so let's go ahead and go into their territory now. Uh, see if we got enough supplies. We do. Uh, so where can he sit? and not run out of supplies. Probably nowhere. We can sit right there, actually. Uh, though we will take a little smacking of attrition. So it's like, do you want to take attrition every month? Or take one little shot of attrition? That's your choice, essentially. You could just leave them all there uh, as well. You're going to run out of supplies quicker, but... Yeah, I might just do that. Uh, put them all there. Because if we did that... No, 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 no. That's not the best way to do that at all, is it? Yeah, let's go here, I suppose. And that's the, uh, what we needed. Uh, so let's go ahead and see who all we can invite. There are actually a bunch of people we can invite. Okay, I didn't notice that. Uh, so what we need to do is take a look at oops, how much we're going to need to invite after we do the support schemes. So 
we're not like paying people that we don't have to. Uh, so we're just looking for people we have hooks on first, or uh, secrets on that we could blackmail. We'll do him. We'll do this guy here. Oh, yep. I always forget. You can only do one at a time. And make sure we're not actually fighting there. Yeah, because we don't want to engage them in that conflict. Alright, so let's go ahead and convince this guy with the uh, hook. Oh, that won't work. You have to do a hook and a bribe. Wow. Okay. We're not doing that. Did the event fire? Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and blackmail this guy. And I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, so now we need to... Ah, that's not going to work, huh? Yeah, unfortunately... Nah, you can't, you're not going to get that uh, character either. We can try and blackmail her, but that's yeah, pointless. Because she's not going to, to operate against her uh, grandchild. Yeah, that's clearly not going to, to work. Uh, so we should be able to use the hook here. That's going to tick it up some. And yeah, that's the guy we already looked at. Is there anybody else here that I missed? Uh, again, we can again we could do the the black pill, but it's, honestly, it's kind of pointless. She will not be agreeing to it, as you can see, it's a negative twelve forty nine. Uh, so as far as how long this is going to take, it's going to be eleven months, guys. Eleven months to get that done. They will have time to go attack us somewhere. Um, that's a lot of troops. I could bring the 4,100, and with the four, we'll have 8,000, and we would outnumber them, but we're relying on our ally to actually support us. And we're leaving ourselves open to be attacked here. That's a possibility as well. I guess we'll see where they go, and maybe we will do that, if they get far enough away from our troops here. Uh, so we might want to go ahead and pay somebody to increase that chance. It's only at a 70% right now. Uh, so let's just take a look see how much we have to pay these people. Uh, 56 here. 107 there, good god. Not Probably not going to get much cheaper than 50-something gold here. So we'll, try, we'll pay this guy. We got the money. Just increase that uh, so we have a much better chance. And we'll see where they go. They're going to siege here. I want to see how long it's going to take. They would get it done in time. Uh, so... We're probably going to want to go engage them. If we can. If we can get uh, these guys to follow us. So we are at a 95%. As good as we can get here. Uh, let's see what happens here. Let's see if they go uh, assist us. And our wife is pregnant again. Okay. Hopefully she has better luck. Just for her. I mean, in our, our sake, you know. It's depressing. Hmm. Alright, so it looks like he's not following us as of right now. So it appears he doesn't expect us to win this battle. Alright, well, we're not going to give up on the siege that we've been working on. We're going to let it happen, because uh, that way we can go into the capital here. Uh, so we'll just lose this, but we'll take it back. Uh, we're at, we're at a size of an army where we can defeat them, so. And we did sway this guy again. All right, excellent. All right, so I think we're done swaying him. Let's see who we might want to do next. Uh, we could do this new chancellor here. Just make sure all our vassals like us, keep them happy. And uh, we could also learn a new language. There's still one. Uh, possibility there. Uh, so we could do another language. Which would we do? Because we've already learned uh, the Baltic here. I don't know if there's anything else we don't uh, any languages we don't have yet. Because yeah, we have I want to say we have everything here that's important for us. Could do East Slavic. Uh, you know, that would be helpful, I guess. Yeah, maybe we'll do that in the future. Uh, so this might have gotten quicker. We're at seven months now, uh, while they're sitting at three months. So again, they'll, they'll definitely get it done in time, and that'll help them out a lot because this is uh, part of their war target here. So yeah, they're going after that. Is that the province they want? 
Yes. So if they get that, that's going to be big for their, their points. And uh, now we're going to attempt to take her out. 95% chance of success here. And uh, she is dead. She swallowed the bait, pudding and all. In no time at all, she was clutching at her throat, wheezing for air, before collapsing into a small heap on the ground, never to get up again. All bakers in the area were questioned, but no trace of foul play could be found. And, uh, oof. We just hit critical stress level. Right during this war. Alright, uh, there's nothing to be done about it now. At this point, I should have done a hunt or something. So we just hit the critical stress level for the first time here at age 43. Uh, so we have a mental break, wanton desires. Lately it feels like I'm constantly being distracted by lascivious thoughts and erotic fantasies. With all the hardships of my everyday life, it is all too easy to lose myself in daydreams and forget about reality. These desires are clearly interfering with my life, but what should I do about them? Uh, so we can say perhaps a new view of God will help me. And then we'll convert to this religion here, which we don't want to do. I'll lose piety, I'll lose some stress. You say maybe a different kind of outlet will help. Well, this is actually a good one. You don't often get the good ones. Uh, but yeah, this is a good one here. That's the athletic one. It fits with our character. Increased prowess, increased health, and uh, increased stress loss. Yeah, that's uh, easily the, wind, the one we want to do. Or you say, I will bite my lip and try to stay focused. We don't do that. Uh, so yeah, this is a good one. You don't get those often. Uh, the good ones. So I'm happy about it. So it worked out for us that we got stressed out from killing children. Uh, we're very close to having another mental breakdown, though, so we do need to, to deal with that. But obviously we're at war, and, uh, yeah, this is the priority. Gotta get this done first. Alright, so, uh, five months to get this completed. And a secret has been exposed. Do we want to... I mean, I guess we do want to prison. And it's this character here. Uh, we could try and get some money here with this prisoner. I don't know if we can get anything. Yeah, we can get 10 gold. So we'll ransom her. Just get a little bit of money. That'll get us through almost another month. And we can also negotiate an alliance here. And this is here in Bohemia uh, because you know, uh, we are related to this family. This is our sister. So we, we're getting alliances here. Basically they all got titles. And so these are our nephews and, and now we can ally with them. But can't pull him into this conflict, of course. That doesn't really help us much right now. And I got that ransom. Excellent. It's another month of fighting we could do. Such a bummer. These guys are just ravaging us up here in the north. Just can't do anything about it. Not that I really... I don't like fighting those anyway. That's one negative here about having some coastline here in the Baltic. I just got to deal with those uh, raids. Yeah, so they just took the war goal, or just about took the war goal here. And what is this about? This is Uber Swain. Uh, yes, this is Uber Swain. So you say I stay for a little while longer, or just show me to the rooms, and then we'll lose some stress. Uh, let's do that. Get rid of some of that stress. Cause good God, we got a lot of it. It's been helpful to get rid of a little bit if we can. All right, so they did take that. You see the war score drop quite a bit. Uh, see what they do next. Um, we'll want to move our troops in here. Boiling angry, or anger. All right, so this mayor is pissed. He's been under a lot of stress. Uh, but we're gonna lose stress. All right, well this is all helpful for us. That's getting our stress down right when we need it. All right, so I assume they're coming to attack this guy, and that's why we're bringing our troops over here. Uh, we have to hope that he'll support us. Well, they're going back. They see what we're doing here, so yeah, they're going back. They'll go and attack another location. Uh, but we'll get the siege done first, and then we'll come over here and, and try and engage these guys. All right, so that will help out on the war score a little bit. We're at uh, five more days to get that done, and we're still being raided in the north, of course. All right, so that helped a little bit. Got us a little bit of money, too. Uh, but it didn't help much. Uh, we need to go out to the capital, which we can now do without taking attrition. But we got to deal with these, these armies over here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, let's go ahead and start pushing forward and or going back into our own territory here and uh, deal with the the armies over here. Uh, we can get the forest bonus. We have seven months. Uh, the question is, will these guys support us? Because otherwise, we're outnumbered by a lot. It looks like he will. All right, excellent. That's what I want to see. All right, so let's going to move these guys over here. 
and yeah, he can go here, and then we'll attack him there. And uh, we did end up having another son. <laughs> he had a fourth son. All right, excellent. You go through the Polish names. Could also just name a good Catholic name. Uh, Jersey, or like I said, that'd be Jersey, huh? Uh, Daniel, is that a Polish name, huh? Yeah, why not? We'll go with the Daniel. Okay, so that's our young Daniel. Uh, no, no traits, negative or positive. Uh, Lambert actually did get the pensive, which is great. We'll have him do the learning education. And uh, Casimir is now old enough to learn language. Uh, so we'll go ahead and have him learn. Probably should start with German. Uh, if we have... We don't have anybody teaching German. What happened to the person we did have? That person die or whatever? Yeah, that's unfortunate. So we don't actually have anybody here uh, to teach young Casimir German. So we have to bring somebody in. So I looked around and I had trouble finding anybody who was available. Uh, we got this this woman here. She's in the emperor's court. And uh, she would be able to teach German. And she's got 14 learning. That's the best I could find. But she's a stutter. So I don't know if that would impact it. You would think that would impact uh, teaching and learning languages. I don't know uh, if it would or not. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll try and uh, arrange a marriage for her. Uh, see who we want to do that with. Maybe the court physician? Sure, why not? And then we can teach our, our son with her. Alright, so we're going to try and get in this battle over here. Uh, we want to make sure we get there first. We get there on uh, in eight days. Oops. Eight days here once he get there. Uh, seven days, so we want to give it a couple days. So it's seven days and he's at six, so yeah, that'll work. All right, so uh, we should win. Uh, we're also gonna get support from those 4,000. We'll see how this uh, battle goes. And she did agree, excellent. So now let's educate young Casimir. And we'll see who we have available here. She should be in here. There, she, there we go, right there. Uh, also, our wife, she can teach uh, French. All right, so let's have him study this language and uh, hopefully he does well. I'm rooting for you, Casimir. Uh, because you know what? It is not uh, definitive who is going to be our heir uh, because we could disinherit uh, Mieszko and instead have Casimir be the heir. Uh, that was something we didn't do much in role plays. We had have a legitimate reason to do so, but now we can do it. Uh, so yeah, if he's like the better option, then uh, maybe we'll we'll go with him. We'll just see how how he turns out. Uh, obviously, we would not be having Lambert. He's probably gonna go with the church, and then we have Daniel now too. Uh, so we'll have to see what what ends up uh, happening with with him. Now, one thing I wanted to to look at, uh, which by the way, we have not done the court thing in a little while. Well, we actually have a on a royal lapse here. Uh, the pageantry of court continues day after day from dawn to dusk. Uh, so somebody's spotting platitudes and praises. Just trying to go through this real quick. A deep, insistent desire to leave for the grounds and lose myself and exercise slowly builds. Okay, so this has something to do with our our uh, new uh, trait. We're distracted because of this. And uh, so this, this trait can actually now cause stress. I was thinking it was just a good thing. It's uh, apparently not. Uh, so yeah, we can get stress from it. Just uh, the, the 20 stress here. This would result in 25 stress and we lose court grandeur. So yeah, that's worse. Uh, you can have less stress here. Lose some opinion, lose some court grandeur. We'd, we'd probably take the 20. It's, it doesn't put us in the critical, so we'll just have to take that. Uh, but yeah, what I was saying is we haven't held court for a while. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and I think we're going to reduce our food here, guys. Uh, the decent food. Because, yeah, apparently it causes problems. I don't know if this is... Uh, I, I know that uh, the further up you go, uh, you're far more likely to have uh, problems or become fat or whatever. But yeah, I didn't uh, expect to get it here at the middle one. Uh, maybe it's maybe it's fine being on the middle one, but you know what? We need to save money. Uh, we've been hurting on money. Court grandeur is really high, and it's expensive. We're spending 2.56 per month. So I feel like we need to tick one of these down. So we're going to tick that one down, guys. And uh, again, that's going to cause some problems. Uh, we're going to lose some court grandeur, but it is what it is. 
Yeah, we're gonna do that just to try and save some money. But yeah, we've been having trouble with money for a while. Now, given these money troubles aren't gonna be as serious, and it looks like we will win this battle. Excellent. Uh, but yeah, these money troubles will not be as serious once we're playing as our, our son and heir, if we end up playing as him, because, you know, he's a steward focus. So we'll win this, and then we'll go over here and, and get our, our county back. Uh, so yeah, we should have gotten a nice battle there. Killed a lot of troops, yeah. Uh, 3,500, 17% of the war score, lost 600 of our own. Uh, take a look at our knights here. Oh, good God, look at how many he killed. Wow, he's like a damn hero. Now, given, as I said before, this is not just him. This is also his retinue that are getting these kills. But that's still a lot. And just take a look at the individual battles here. Yeah, I killed a bunch of their dudes. Oh yeah, we killed a ton of their dudes. They have really low prowess. I guess some of them are pretty decent. Uh, but yeah, that guy was pretty cruddy. Uh, we did lose a count, though. Uh, he died. Okay. Lost a count. Uh, we did capture somebody as well. Might want to ransom him because money's getting short. Uh, that would be 50. Um, because he's a count. But do we want to ransom him? I guess is the question. His prowess is just okay. He's not martial, so... Don't gotta worry about that. And uh, we're not gonna get any points uh, from prisoners from just having a count. So yeah, there's really no reason not to, to ransom this guy. We need the money. So we'll get that 50 gold there. All right, so we won the battle. Uh, next, we're gonna come after this county here. So we'll have him go after that, and then we'll just kinda sit behind over here. And then once we take the county back, we'd go after their capital, which I don't know how long that would take. And it's a level 5 fort, so it would take some time. I'll probably have to do another battle, actually. Uh, ransom was accepted, so we got that money back. You'd assume they'd start having some debt trouble now. Are they going after that, too? Uh, it looks like our, our uh, ally. Oh, no, we don't know what he's doing, actually. All right, he's going to sit here and support us. Okay, so four months to get that done, because this is not a very large location. Uh, so should be able to get that done uh, fairly quickly. But unfortunately, we won't be doing it in today's episode uh, because we do have to end it. I know it's pretty short, guys, uh, for my videos anyways. Uh, but I did want to have a video up here so we didn't have the, the two days, Sunday and Monday, with no episode. Uh, so yeah, we'll be returning on Tuesday. I am seeing the Hungarians bring in 2,000 right when they really badly need more troops. Uh, the Hungarians are coming to the rescue here, but they don't have a lot, even if they brought all their army. Uh, we're doing good. We take this over. That's going to give us some nice points here because they got the 9% uh, from the war score there. So I give us some points and then uh, we'll go after the capital. We'll probably do another battle. Uh, but yeah, this is a point in this war that really doesn't get us anything. Uh, you know, if we enforce our demands here, you know, he loses the claim. He has to pay us 503 gold. That helps. Uh, we get some, some prestige, uh, but that's pretty much it. It's not going to help us out that much. The money will be helpful. Uh, we definitely could use the uh, the funds. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode, even if it was a bit shorter. If you did, make sure you have a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next episode, which, remember, will be on Tuesday. So I'll see you then, and thanks for watching.